So in the past week, a whole lot has happened on the internet and offline in my real world. I basically drove from the US-Mexican border to the US-Canadian border and back in the span of like 96 hours. And when you spend about 48 hours out of 96 hours in front of a steering wheel, you don't really hear, think, or know what's really going on outside your lane, literally. But what did I find out when I came home? I found out that H3H3 and Keemstar have both dropped like three videos on each other. Fight! Yes, two men in their 30s are battling out on YouTube, making diss video upon diss video on each other until they bleed in subscribers. Man, I just love YouTube in 2020. Another thing that's interesting with this feud as well is it's actually not a one-sided reaction. This actually has a whole lot of people torn on the entire situation. Unlike the normal call out videos where the audience, the person who calls out, just uh, dog piles onto the victim. And this just isn't quite one of those situations. So first, let's just go through a quick backstory of what happened with Ethan from H3H3 and Keemstar this year to cause all of this. So in April of 2020, the fellow commentary YouTuber Muda from the channel Some Ordinary Gamers made a couple of videos on Ethan Klein from H3H3. The main problem with the videos is they were based on faulty information. But H3 got a good amount of backlash from these videos, so he responded with a video titled Everyone Loves Ethan. So Muda then takes down his videos that had misinformation and uploaded the video I own an apology where he admits to his mistakes and apologizes, which gave me a lot of respect for Muda as a creator in person, because trust me, it, it takes a whole lot to own up to your mistakes when it's been highlighted in front of millions of people. But then we all thought that situation was over until... We got H3H3 H3 versus some ordinary gamers. Oh my God, this thing is heating up. And H3H3 H3 lied to everyone. We're gonna get into it. So on the 19th of April, 2020, Keemstar uploaded the video where the first part of the title is H3H3 H3 Lies, where you saw how he started off the video, but he had the option to do what he claims he does by reporting the news, but I, I, obviously that just didn't fit the narrative he wanted to portray. So he had his news team dig up more dirt on H3 so he can just fuel the fire. To where he spent about six minutes of this video going in on Ethan for something that isn't really news it's more olds can that be a word i don't know throw that one in the urban dictionary so i would definitely call that the first punch in this feud and he hasn't changed anything on that video he hasn't used the youtube editor tool to edit out anything even though it was proven wrong so most people were expecting ethan to respond somehow either via his podcast or via his main channel and a month later on the 19th of may we got our answers to that question where h3 uploaded the video content nuke keemstar this video covers the Payday 2 situation, how Keemstar tweeted Total Biscuit, he couldn't wait to report on his Keemstar falsely accusing the streamer RS Glory and Gold for being a because he simply looked like one, calling out Keemstar's main sponsor G Fuel for endorsing this, which then opens Pandora's box to where fans can now attack YouTubers sponsors and future dramas, which could be worrying depending on the creator in the situation. Then continuing, we have Keemstar accusing the commentator creator Just Destiny for touching kids. Then Ethan shows when Keemstar got backlash for that, he shows a clip of Keemstar saying that he docks Just Destiny, meaning he released personal information on someone due to an internet feud. Then you have the incident where Keemstar docks Smiles for YouTube, then he shows the interview Keemstar did with the swatter that actually ended up going to prison. And then he shows Keemstar mocking Bashiverse for being suicidal. And then the next point in the video is something that actually made me stop the video and go, hold on a second. So then Ethan brings up Etika and how Keemstar was covering his manic states. Etika was probably one of the most entertaining and real streamers of our time. And sadly, he took his life in the summer of 2019. Weaponizing someone's tragic passing just to get at someone you hate is up no matter how you look at it and while yes monetizing his manic episodes doxing him and egging him on is up as well but ethan could have made this video without mentioning this etika's family friends and supporters don't want etika to be remembered as a manic guy who was wronged by keemstar no they want to remember him for all the joy he brought to his audience like nintendo live streams will never be the same but going back to ethan's first video he ends it by debunking the whole payday 2 situation where keemstar basically accused him of fraud and that was the first video it was a lot but wait, there's more, a whole lot more, about five more videos to cover, or well, four, since Keemstar's most recent video was taken down, or well, that wasn't really Keemstar's video, Keemstar re-uploaded a Gokunaru video, which was then taken down, but we'll get into that. But after the first video, the next video in the drama timeline would be from Keemstar, uploaded the day after titled H3H3 Lies, where he's defending himself against what I'm assuming he thought Ethan said. But the most damning thing that he accused me of is Etika. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Ethan never said that. Did he imply that? That's debatable. The main point was how reckless Keemstar was being while covering the situation, but Keemstar then uses Etika to defend himself against H3. 
let them rest. The pettiness between these two is actually kind of insane. But after the whole Etika part, Keemstar reiterated that Ethan is a piece of garbage and that he's a hypocrite because he called out Keem for instigating Fousey during this. Then Keemstar shows that Ethan did a whole podcast reacting to the whole Fousey situation. So then Keemstar brought up that Ethan roasted him for wearing a colorful hoodie, then showed a picture of Ethan wearing a colorful hoodie. Ooh, got him. We now have two 30 year olds roasting each other for wearing colorful hoodies. 2020 is peaking and there's nothing you guys can do about it. Having Keemstar and H3 battle out at each other because of their hoodies, that that's that's a peak right there. The pressing issues, truly. <laughs> And then finally, Keemstar criticizes Ethan for painting smiles for YouTube as a victim, when apparently he was a serial swatter and threatened people's lives to extort money out of them on a regular. So that was that video. Now on to the next video, which is uh, H3H3's video titled Nuclear Fallout Keemstar, where he opens the whole video talking about the Bash Reverse situation, which was a situation that happened back in 2015. If I remember correctly, my friend Adam, or Skyda's Minecraft, was creating a couple of Minecraft teams, and when background checking a YouTuber known as Bash Reverse, it came up that he had been charged with unlawful transaction with a minor. The charge was later amended to sexual misconduct. Keemstar ran with the story and had Basher on his show multiple times, completely humiliating him, but also spreading tons of misinformation around it. Basically creating a toxic environment for Basher, then mocking him when he was clearly suicidal. Ethan then shows clips of the FouseyTube situation, and then more clips of Keemstar responding to Etika. So he's really driving in the point that Keemstar shouldn't be a mental health advocate nor therapist, which thank he isn't. He's Keemstar of Drama Alert Nation. Ethan then points out how Keemstar is basically just attacking back instead of defending himself. Then Ethan points out that Keemstar conveniently left out the part where he was apparently saying that FouseyTube was clearly having a manic episode. Then Ethan makes the point by saying that Keemstar made it a three-part documentary on this whole manic episode, where in episode one, even Banks was saying, hey man, this isn't a good idea. <laughs> Then Ethan brings up on how Keemstar handled his Buskis situation, where he didn't do any research on it, he just hired a voice actor to read up the allegation post while he sat and reacted to it doing funny faces. Then Ethan brings up the Daddy of Five situation and Keemstar's stance on that whole thing, which basically was a situation where a vlog family was clearly abusing their children for YouTube content, in which CPS actually stepped in and removed some of the children from that family. Keemstar defended that family by saying he didn't think that was abuse. Then Ethan shows how he covered the Curtis Lepore and Jesse Smile situation, where he defended Curtis because he thought Jesse was a liar. Then in 2019, he met Curtis, thought he was a creepy guy, and then changed his mind to say that he was guilty, simply based off of he got bad vibes from Curtis. Then Ethan brought up the Brawadis situation, where Keemstar basically presented a he said, she said situation as he had facts, where Keemstar basically attacked Brawadis in this fashion of guilty until proven innocent, which isn't how things should work. Then Ethan brought up how Keemstar gave Onision a platform to defend himself because he didn't see any proof, yet he reported on the proof previously. Then Ethan brought up that Keemstar accused uh, Shoe Nice of being a fugitive on the run. And then Ethan says the only reason he went for G Fuel was because he felt like that sponsor was on everything that Keemstar did. Where Ethan basically argues and saying that G Fuel is almost a part of his identity. Therefore, they indirectly endorse everything he does, which is a fair point. And since Keemstar said that Ethan was the first person to ever go after a sponsor, Ethan then took a clip from 2015 of Keemstar going after some esports organization sponsors. And then Ethan ends the video with how Keemstar ended his video with a threat. Okay, next in the saga, we have Keemstar's video. Ethan Klein is detached from reality. Keemstar opens the video by saying that Ethan took a whole lot out of context and how the narrative completely changed. Then he starts off with his first point being that Ethan falsely accused 1.2 billion people of being a then Keemstar shows a clip of probably the most blatant joke in the world. I don't know why he even included that. Keemstar then defends Catholics by saying that he wouldn't have been born if it wasn't for them. Then Keemstar shows Ethan falsely accusing someone for being a... I, I would show that one instead of the whole cat. Why did you show the Catholic? That was a joke. <laughs> and then I guess the guy that Ethan accused started doing a live stream with Ethan's name in it years later. So Ethan allegedly ran to YouTube and got them to remove it. Then Keemstar says that wouldn't be the only time Ethan went to YouTube to get a video removed where he hints at the Gokunaru video. Then Keemstar brings up the whole RS Glory and Gold situation. He says he uploaded a video that's still up that's apologizing for all of this. Then he said that RS Glory and Gold wanted to be his friend 
and Tony from RS Glory and Gold said he forgave him. Then he shows a clip of RS Glory and Gold saying that Keemstar is the best thing that ever happened to his show. I'll give you so much attention, let me just finish recording this video. Then Keemstar brought Tony's old manager into the video, saying that Keemstar really tried to make amends for what he did, but then he completely threw all of that out of the window by uh, bringing up a new scandal on Tony, saying that he was catfished by someone on RuneScape by, I'm assuming, one of Keemstar's viewers. Then he pulls some real snaky sh by saying, oh, I'm not gonna explain this, I'll let Tony explain this, knowing well that that's gonna send a bunch of hate towards Tony. So since Tony picked Ethan's side, it now seems like Keemstar just wants to completely burn this man to the ground again. Even though if he never wronged Tony in the first place, none of this would have ever happened. Then he brings up the whole Leafy is here versus Tommy and C situation where Ethan defended Tommy and C versus Leafy, but then I guess never went on his show. Then he brings up the Smile for YouTube situation where Smile for YouTube had swatted multiple YouTube YouTubers including Keemstar and tried to extort money from Basherverse. Keemstar then brings up the whole Just Destiny situation where Keemstar says that Destiny falsely striked a 15 year old, then once he got his name and email, Destiny sent over a cease and desist letter to a 15 year old kid. I remember that situation, that was messed up. Then Keemstar said that YouTube personally reached out to him to end all of this drama. And then Keemstar ends his video by saying, hey, if you're feeling depressed, just exercise. Again, thank he's not a mental health counselor. Then next in the saga, we have Nuclear Winner, Keemstar by H3H3. Ethan opens the video with how Keemstar basically just reignited his attack on Tony. Then Ethan goes through the catfish allegations video against Tony or RS Glory and Gold, where apparently someone decided to catfish him for a full year. And in that video, the guy who catfished claimed that he said that he was 16 years old. Then Ethan shows Tony explaining himself the situation where Tony shows the person who catfished him says they were 25 years old. Tony already addressed this in 2017 apparently, and now Keemstar has relaunched his attack against Tony, which Tony is going through the full effects of right now. Then Ethan showed a clip of Woody's gamer tag where Woody his gamer tag goes on to say that Ethan actually tried to get him dropped from G Fuel as well. So he's he's saying that Ethan definitely didn't go after YouTuber sponsors first. Then Woody goes on to explain his experience with Keemstar and how Keemstar harassed his eight-year-old disabled son. Because apparently Woody's eight-year-old son moved the fur around the of their family dog on live stream. And Woody claims that Keemstar tweeted out that clip a bunch of times during the weekend. Woody then said that Keemstar twisted everything by saying his eight year old was being the dog. Then Ethan ends that video by saying that Keemstar ruining lives is basically a weekly activity for him. And in the next saga, Keemstar re-uploaded Gokunara's video. That would almost be like Ethan just re-uploading uh, iDubbbz' content cop on him. But Ethan re-uploaded Gokunara's video, and a couple hours later it was actually deleted again by YouTube. And since that happened, the new apparent narrative of this whole drama seems to be that H3H3 is now in bed with YouTube. And due to all of that, Ethan responded by saying, I'll be watching the entire Gokunara video of H3H3 on our next podcast. We'll be fun. So we, we're, we're like a week into this and it's still going on strong. Things are still kind of heating up. Boy, am I tired of it now. But the main issue I have with this feud is they're moving around YouTubers that have been struggling with mental health issues as pawns for their own battle. They both seem to be taking rumors of each other and just reporting them as facts without going through the proper amount of research to state these things. And that's why I decided to title this video Content Misinformation. Anyway, please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts of all this. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribed. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay informed. And I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Peace. Me, I'ma let it run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on my feet, touch heaven. Haven't had first, bitch, already want second.